can't fade you, boy. Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Daniel, and today I am here with a Kaveri gaming PC build. Uh, now, if you don't know what Kaveri is, it is AMD's new line of APUs, which are accelerated processing units. At least that's what AMD is calling them. Um, and basically, it's just a CPU with a graphics card built onto the same chip. Uh, they're usually meant for you know value-oriented builds like we have here, uh, you know budget builds, etc. But these new Kaveri APUs are extremely effective. Like, I was surprised at benchmarks that people got with this um, or with these APUs. But anyways, getting right into this for the APU, I'm with the AMD A10 7850K. 3.7 gigahertz quad core processor. This is $185 and is a beast of an APU. You'll be able to run games like Tomb Raider, Crisis 1, 2, and 3, Battlefield 4, etc. Um, at 1080p, you know, at 1080p low settings, obviously. 1080p low settings and getting 30 FPS or so. Um, which honestly isn't really bad uh, for this CPU. Not said really, I can't say anything more. For the CPU cooler, I'm with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, sleeve bearing CPU cooler. This has a $5 mail in rebate on it currently, making it $30. But um, you can do some slight overclocks to your APU with this. You could probably push it up to 4 gigahertz and not really have a problem. Obviously, that'll differ depending on the case that you're using uh, with the ventilation and stuff like that. For the motherboard, I'm with the ASUS A88XMA Micro ATX Socket FM2 Plus motherboard. Um, this is $78.99, and if you didn't know, Kaveri uses and actually demands Socket FM2 Plus, not just Socket FM2, although uh, it is backwards compatible, obviously, so you can use like an A106800K or anything like that in this motherboard as well if you want to. Um, Enough said, Asus or Asus, whatever you want to call them, is a great motherboard manufacturer, and this is a good one nonetheless. For the memory, I'm with the G-Skill Ripjaws X-Series 8GB, which is two sticks of 4GB. DDR3 2133MHz memory, this is $85 right now and is beast memory. Uh, cast latency on this is 10, but um, for APUs, since they don't have, since the graphics side of them anyway, does not have dedicated uh, video RAM, you're going to need to use your regular RAM and you're going to want to get to get as fast RAM as possible. And 2133 is value wise about as good as it gets. Because you know, if you go up to like, what is it 2600 or something, uh, clock speeds like that, it gets to be insanely pricey. Uh, value per dollar wise 2133 is about as good as you're going to get uh, supporting an APU. So yeah, for the storage only the Western Digital Caviar Black one terabyte, 7200 RPM internal hard drive. Um, right now this has a $5 mail-in rebate and it is $87.97. You can replace this with a Caviar Blue uh, if you want to, but again, I just like the faster speeds. So for the case, I want the Rosewill FBM-01 Micro ATX Mini Tower case. This is $30 and probably one of the most price-effective cases out there right now. Uh, enough said, it's, it really is a no-frills case, there's nothing insanely good about it, but uh, it will support everything you need and everything that I've listed in this build. So yeah, for the power supply, I went with the Corsair Builder Series CX430, 430 watt, 80 plus bronze certified ATX power supply. Right now this has a $20 mail-in rebate, making the power supply $20 itself which is insanely awesome. Uh, APUs also do not use a lot of um, power. So in this build, pretty much even when gaming will only be using about 200 watts at any given time. And this power supply, as I said before, is 430 watts. Uh, it's always good to have a little bit of overhead because with some overhead you'll get the best, uh, the best efficiency with your power supply. Not to say that this is the most efficient power supply ever because it's not. But yeah, enough said there. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new here. I post content every other day. Thanks for watching and peace.